Hey guys, it's Morgan here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, bring you another uh, quarterback situation video. Today, today, guys, we're gonna be looking at the AFC North. Uh, after this, we just got three more, and then the NFL preseason uh, begins. It's gonna be awesome. So, without further ado, let's get right with it. Um, we'll start with the team that won the division last year. Uh, Ravens. They got Lamar Jackson, RG3, and Trace McSorley. Um, I love all three of these guys, um, and that's probably why the Ravens I'm probably rooting for in the uh, AFC North the most. Even though I do like the Browns, but um, yeah. Uh, so Lamar Jackson, a lot rides on him. I really liked him last year, and um, you know, it all depends on him with all these new weapons he has around him. If he can become a true uh, passing quarterback, I really hope he does. Out of all the quarterbacks, probably in the league, um, he's the one guy I'm hoping has a great career. Um, I think he has a really good story, and it just it'd be really cool to see him become the future of the Ravens uh, team, win a Super Bowl. Because you know, like. He, he was last pick in the first round. He's like, I'm going to get a Super Bowl out of me. That would be great if he's able to uh, make up on that promise. So, yeah, uh, Lamar Jackson, I'm really rooting for. I th I'm a little... F f I feel like he's going to be able to do it, but I feel like it's going to be like, he's able to do it, yeah, but he needs another year, you know, and that's why I feel like this year the Ravens probably won't make the playoffs, but I think that... You know, they'll be like, yeah, Lamar Jackson looked good. It was just that we had a lot of problems otherwise. Um, RG3, uh, probably the perfect backup for this team because if uh, Lamar Jackson either struggles or he ends up getting injured, RG3 can be perf can perfectly be able to uh, run the offense because he basically has the same skill set as Lamar Jackson, except he's a better pass. He's a better, pure passer than um, Lamar Jackson is because he's had more experience at it. RG3, again, had uh, a career that, you know, started off pretty good, but then because of some bullshit, you know, he got uh, injured and he's been moving around. He's with the Ravens now. He signed a contract to stick with them, so maybe, um, I don't know, but it'd be really cool to see him. Uh, I'm pretty sure after his, they might, he might be a new Matt Schaub where they just keep extending him and extending him until the end of his career. I don't know, but um, RG3, really cool. And Trace McSorley, they got in the draft this year in the sixth round uh penn state quarterback i love penn state um he um uh again like um uh, most likely drafted to be a uh i'll taste some hill type player you know that's, that's what a lot of teams did this year and i i do like chase me slowly i do kind of feel bad because i feel like he's not going to really get a real chance to be a starter quarterback in the league i think that's what he wanted you know he wants to be a quarterback and he said that uh, a lot of times uh especially when they asked him like if he wanted to try a defensive back he said, no, I'm a quarterback. But uh, Chase McSorley, it'd be really cool to see him in the preseason this year. Uh, again, I love Penn State. I loved um, his football. And uh, it'll be really cool to see what he can do uh, with this team. And, uh, yeah, so next, uh, the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. They got Ben Roethlisberger, Mason Rudolph, Joshua Dobbs, and De Devlin Hodges. Don't know much about Devlin Hodges. I think he's just there just to fill up a room. I think he ends up getting cut by the end of the um, preseason. Unless Joshua Dobbs or Mason Rudolph is hurt. Um, ben Roethlisberger, um, I think he's got another Super Bowl run in him somewhere. I think he's able to do it. I do like him. I think he is a Hall of Famer. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, he's probably the most he's probably the most accomplished out of Eli Manning and Phil Rivers, the other guys he was drafted with. But yeah, I do like Ben Roethlisberger. I think he does have another. I mean, he just got a three year extension, I think, or maybe I'm mixing it up with someone else. But uh, yeah, the Steelers obviously like him, and without Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell, I think he's still able to keep up the same level of production that he's been able to do. Especially, probably a little bit better now since there's not a lot of drama with Antonio Brown being on and everything. So yeah, that'll be uh, interesting. Um, uh, Joshua Dobbs, uh, he's been the backup of the team for about, this, I think this will be his third or fourth year. Um, I do like Joshua Dobbs a lot. I'm from Tennessee. I really like him. I think he can be a long-term backup solution for this team. I think he can be a really good backup anywhere pretty much in the league. I mean, last preseason there was talk about him getting traded somewhere for a team that needed a backup, but he ended up being the second string for the Steelers. But I do like Joshua Dobbs a lot. Hopefully he stays with the team for a while. And Mason Rudolph, who I said, um, who I say should be the backup quarterback, because it'll help Ben Roethlisberger. It'll push Ben Roethlisberger to play better. Because what happened was is that last year Ben Roethlisberger got hurt. And then uh, he was out of the game for a while. But like there were reports that he was fine. But he just decided to wait a little while until he went back out. And I'm think, and I think the reason why he did it. Because like, the backup was Joshua Dobbs. And he's like, well, Joshua Dobbs is not going to take my job. I mean, there's no way. But Mason Rudolph is the guy they drafted in the second or third round, uh, you know, last year 
to be his replacement maybe, but now he's got the three-year contract extension, but it doesn't, I mean, it's not a surprise if they end up sitting Mason Rudolph for four more years and see what he does. But um, I think if you make him the immediate backup, I think Ben Roethlisberger will play better. I, I guarantee you he will play better. He won't want to stay out of games for too long. He'll probably be more conservative with, like, how he runs and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, I really th- hope that he is the second string, and I hope he's the future of the franchise. I do like Mason Rudolph a lot, so can't wait to see uh, him in the preseason. Next, the Cleveland Browns. They got Baker Mayfield, Drew Stanton, Garrett Gilbert, and David Blau. Don't know anything about David Blau. Um, Baker Mayfield, uh, you know, really cool story. Um, I think, um, you know, this Brown team has a lot of um, weapons. They're a team that should win the NFC North and should get deep into the playoffs, but if they don't, I think it is going to be a huge disappointment. Um, it lies a lot on Baker Mayfield, Freddie Kitchens, and stuff like that. I think Baker Mayfield is the future of the Browns. I think he can be that quarterback for them for the future. I think he can get into a Super Bowl one day. It would be really cool to see that happen. It just all depends on the coach. If the coach is great, and then Baker Mayfield will be fine. I mean, you got Odo Beckham now, Jarvis Landry, a lot of good players. Um, I do believe that Baker Mayfield can be the future of uh, the Browns and get them to Super Bowls. Um, Drew Stanton, I'm not super hype on Drew Stanton. I think he's a third stringer at best. I don't really believe in him all that much. I think if Baker Mayfield goes down, Drew Stanton's not going to save your season. However, I am high on this next guy, Garrett Gilbert, who uh, was in the AAF, Orlando Palos. He was like the best quarterback in the AAF. And before that, he was with the Panthers for a little bit. He did okay with them. He's going around the league a few times. But I do think Garrett Gilbert, I, I think he will give Drew Stanton a run for his money this year. I'm rooting for Garrett Gilbert to uh, stay with the team. I think he'll definitely beat out David Blau or whoever the fuck they have. <clears throat> but, yeah, Garrett Gilbert, um, I'm rooting for him uh, to maybe ma- uh, to make the Browns roster and maybe be the backup for the team. And then finally, we've got the Cincinnati, the Sin City, Natty. Uh, I'm sorry, I was trying to do something clever there. Uh, Bengals. <clears throat> they got Andy Dalton, Jeff Driscoll, Ryan Finley, and Jake Dolagala. Now, Andy Dalton, uh, he's got about like a year or two left. I honestly think that this is probably his last year. I, I, I'm not as high on him. I know a lot of people still give him a lot of credit because like, well, he's still good. It's just that he's had a shitty coach and stuff like that. I still think that Andy Dalton is just, I think he's just average at best. I think by next year he is a uh, hes a backup somewhere else, or maybe he's in the XFL, I don't know. But Andy Dalton, I think it's time that they, since you got a new coach, I think it's time to move on, start with a new quarterback. So I, I really think that they should do that. Jeff Driscoll, I think he's a good backup quarterback. I think he should be the backup quarterback for the Bengals for a long time. He's, he's solid. Um, you got Ryan Finley who's drafted this year, who I'm not as high on as some people, but I do think that he has a chance to become the future of the franchise. It'd be really cool to see. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean, we'll get to see him in the preseason, so that'll be interesting to see. And finally, you got Jake Dolagala uh, from uh, local Cincinnati College, who, you know, they got a local star, so that's pretty cool. Kind of helps them out with some stuff. Um, I've heard some people say, don't sleep on Jake Dolagala. Maybe he could be the future of the franchise. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I think by the end of the preseason, though, I think maybe Jake Dolagala gets cut, and it's um, Andy Dalton, Ryan Finley, and Jeff Driscoll. So. Or Andy Dalton, Jeff Driscoll, and Ryan Finley, because maybe they want to give Andy Dalton one more shot with this new coach, see if they can get to the playoffs. If Andy Dalton's able to do good this year, maybe they keep him another year, have Ryan Finley sit another year. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Uh, this has been the quarterback situation for all the AFC North teams. Next, I'm going to be looking at the AFC North. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this has been Trent from the Rogue Island, and I'll see you guys next time.